to. Run for home as fast as you can. It's Very soon the wind will get even stronger. Look! Mr. Thomas's clock tower! Oh. I'm afraid this wind is going to blow it down. Run! Get inside! I'll go and help Mr. Thomas with the tower. the power lines. I hope Mr. Thomas's clock tower was safe. It's a really bad storm. I hope it won't last much longer. There were so many years. What a shame. We love that clock tower. Yes, the townspeople were very proud of it. Has it been here for a long time? My grandfather built that tower. Today was its birthday. It would have been 99 years old. He fell down on his birthday? The poor thing. The town was planning to have a big festival next year for its centennial. Just think, 100 years old. I know I'm going to miss hearing its lovely chimes every day. But why can't it be put back up again? Wouldn't it work? I think the clock itself is not too damaged. It could be fixed. It would cost too much. We haven't got the money. There must be a way to raise the money if everybody in town would cooperate. Yeah. Everybody in town could contribute something nice, and we'll have a great big sale. Good plan. Don't you call it the bar. Thanks very much, one and all. Big Bazaar this afternoon for Mr. Thomas's clock tower. Everybody brings something to sell. Big Bazaar, Big Bazaar, save our beautiful clock tower. Don't miss the Big Bazaar this afternoon. Oh, it's a Big Bazaar, is it? I'll contribute to that. What fun. A Bazaar. You know, we can fix that, that old clock tower ourselves. Hey, you know, Walter, you and the clock tower have your birthdays on the very same day. Oh, gee, Walter, I forgot today was your birthday. Congratulations, Walter. Let's have a party. A birthday party? Let's celebrate these two birthdays by doing something everybody will really like. Huh? Oh. oh. Beautiful. You better let me take a look. These cakes are the best in town. Don't take them away. I want some. No, Papa. If you want them, you'll have to buy them at the bazaar. Let's go, Floppy. Okay. What's all that stuff, Mr. Duck? Thank you for the bazaar. There's some old toys I fixed up myself. They look just swell. The bazaar is now open. Come in, everybody. Beautiful fresh flowers here. Right here, the best eucalyptus cake in town. It's true. Just taste some and you'll agree. I'll try one. Delicious with lots of eucalyptus flavor. I'll take five. Right away. I'd like five of them, too, please. I'll take seven. Thank you. Come again. I want that one. Thank you. Pay the cash here. They're having a real good time, and all this is so we'll be able to fix up my clock tower again. Wow, what's that big cake for? This is a birthday cake to celebrate the 99th birthday of the clock tower. And when the bazaar is over, everybody that helps will have a piece of it. What a beautiful cake, and a lovely thought behind it, too. Out of the way, everybody, we're coming through. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, Walter, you can't take that log in there. The bazaar's still going on. There's an important bazaar going on here. So we're not important? You're just fooling around with that log. Yeah, Walter, find somewhere else to play. 
we came here to help save the clock tower. That's nice, Walter, but that work is in progress. Thanks very much. All right, then. They don't want our help. Let's go home, Walter. They don't appreciate us. Oh, now, you can stay if you promise to behave yourself. Why shouldn't we? There's lots of places I'd rather be. Then what are you hanging around here for? <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Who's that cake for? It's a birthday cake Mummy made. Wonderful. I'll take it. It's not for sale. Because it's me who wants to buy it, I suppose. No, it's a special cake for a birthday. We really want it. We could pay you for it later. You see, it's spoken for. Walter, stop behaving like a spoiled child. <laughs> Out of my way. <laughs> it's not yours. Oh, no. I'll show you whose cake it is. Watch this. Walter Cat. Ah, bullseye. Stop that. Stop the fight. I didn't make that cake for you to throw it. Wipe the cake off your faces. You look ridiculous. Look at the mess you've made of our nice bazaar. I'll make another birthday cake. Rubeir, you go and find some more eucalyptus leaves. Why did Walter and his brothers have to come to the bazaar? The only thing they did was cause trouble. And why did they insist on having the birthday cake that Mommy made? Yes, they seemed to think they had some race to be there. And what was that big log for? Oh. Oh. Shh. All I wanted to do was fix the clock tower. That's why we brought that log to make it good and solid. And they wouldn't even give us a chance to tell them about it. I guess we shouldn't have bothered trying to fix it. I had to do something. The tower's birthday is the same as mine. I couldn't just let it stay broken. Oh. Oh. Too bad about that cake. The minute I saw it, I really wanted to have it. I didn't know it was for the clock tower. I thought it was for my birthday. Walter, you know nobody's going to make a birthday cake for you. That's right. We don't go for birthday celebrations much in our family. Well, I don't care. I'm used to nobody paying any attention to my birthday. Here's what makes me happy. <laughs> Let's go. When I try to do something helpful, it never turns out right. Uh -huh. Now I understand. Oh, Walter. The lock was for the clock tower. And he thought the birthday cake was for him. I've got an idea. Let's see if we can get Mummy to help us. What's this? A parcel for me? Who's it from? Never mind. Just take it. It's heavy. Gee, I hope it isn't a jack-in-the-box, Mingo. No, but it may surprise you. Just a thing. I bet it's some kind of joke. Well, you open it, Walter, not me. Hmm. A birthday cake. Hey, it's beautiful. Oh, it's got a boomerang decoration just for you. being a shy type, you know. I've never thought of you as being shy, Walter. We asked Rue Bear's mommy to make the cake. Then we all donated some money and bought it at the bazaar. Oh, and something else, Walter. Mr. Thomas says he'll use your log in the tower. It'll make it strong, and next year on his birthday, he'll invite you to be a guest at the festival. That's marvelous. 
Oh, good for you, Walter. <laughs> I suppose. There are a few clouds around, but they should have good weather. Well, the wind is changing. Not much chance of rain, but there may be a thunder and lightning storm. I'm worried. see one corner of mine. The rest of it's hidden. I wish we could look at it from even higher up. Oh, I wouldn't want to climb any higher than this, thank you. I don't mean climb. I mean like in a balloon. Balloon? I was up in one once. Never again for me. I like riding on kites better. It's a lot more exciting. Oh, my goodness. Can you really ride on kites, Mingo? Of course I can. It's great. Riding on the wind. Oh. planes in town. Yeah, but by the time we get back to town, the fire will spread and become very dangerous. Hmm. If only one of us could fly, we could get a message down there in about two minutes. Fly? There's one of us that can fly. I'm going to make a kite out of this. A kite? What good is a kite going to do? Mingo's going to ride it. Good idea. What? Oh, I'm not going to ride on a kite! What good would that do? Well, Mingo can't really fly up in the sky like a bird, but once he gets to a high place, he can glide down to where he wants to go. I see. We fly the kite as high as we can, 
Then Mingle jumps off and glides into town. I've figured it out. If Mingle jumps off when it's 600 feet high, he'll be able to glide right into the middle of town. I won't do it! No, I'm scared! Mingle, didn't you just say a few minutes ago that you really love riding kites? I'm sure that you'll be happy to let us unravel your scarves to get string, right? Oh, these scarves? Not mine. I love my scarves. Please, we haven't got any other string. Your scarves would be just great. Oh, Nick. All right. Good luck, Mingo. I know you can do it. Whoa, I'm really scared of that. children's hiking. You think they're all right? Sure. That storm didn't last very long. <laughs> what is Mingle? What happened, Mingle? Are you all right? The lightning struck. The forest on fire. The fire. Oh, Mingle. I'll phone the fire station. getting worse. Do you think Mingo made it? Oh, Mingo. I just hope he didn't get hurt. importance of warning the fire department. That is why I have asked them here today so we can thank them for what they've done. Congratulations. <laughs> That took a lot of courage to die from a flying kite the way you did. 
That's right. It was only because of Mingle's courage that we managed to do it. I knew it had to be done. No! <laughs> My brother Nick and I were very happy to give up our beautiful scarves for strip. Hear that? He said they were happy to. Oh, Pammy, I have already ordered new scarves from our department store. Oh. And they'll be exactly like the ones you had before. That's good. Feel better now, Pammy? Yeah, I was lost without my scarf. That was clever of you to build that tight floppy. Are you planning another? Yes, I am. But I'm thinking of making a much bigger kite using very advanced aerodynamics so it'll fly much better. Oh, good. That means Mingle will be able to fly even higher. Oh, 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 oh